What's up all you wonderful people of YouTube, my name is The Gaming Sloth and welcome to Call of Duty Zombies Bootcamp, the series where I show you the best tips and tricks on how to survive the endless hordes. If you have any questions or suggestions for the next video, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll definitely get to them. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's episode. So one of the most important skills you should have as a Zombies player is the ability to run a train. What exactly is a train? It's basically running in a circle in a way that the zombies all group up behind you, which minimizes the chance of you getting surrounded, and it also allows you to take all of the zombies out a little bit quicker, since they're all right there in one big group. To be frank, if you can't run a train, you're not going to make it very far, which is why it's such an important skill to have. Now I understand that there are other ways to survive in zombies such as sitting on the catwalk in the giant and things along those lines, but the train is something that you'll always be able to go back to on every single zombies map and it's a necessary skill if you want to make it to the really high rounds. So the basic idea when you're running a train is to keep the zombies behind you, and I know that this is something that a lot of zombies players actually struggle with. Uh, the problem is they want to keep the zombies in front of them so that they know that they're not about to die. But the problem with that is then it messes up your auto-aim and stuff like that and the zombies end up surrounding you a lot easier. So just make sure you keep in mind that the zombies need to be behind you. So a good way to get used to running a train in this game is to actually start running a train in the earlier rounds. Now I know you won't really be running because the zombies are so slow you basically be walking a train. But the same idea is there. You keep the zombies behind you, you keep them in a big group, which makes them easier to take out. Uh, you can do it on start like round three probably would be a good round to start, and then just continue running uh, trains as you progress through the rounds until eventually the zombies will be sprinting at you, uh, which is very different from round three obviously, but the same idea is still there. You want to group them up so that they're easier to avoid and easier to take out. Something that I found really helpful and that's really nice to have when you're first learning uh, to do a train is to have something like a shotgun that's going to one-shot any zombies that are in front of you, uh, minimizing your like chances of getting trapped. Uh, because a lot of the times when you're running a train, they'll still spawn in front of you, and then one of them will run into you and stop you just enough for the horde behind you to completely surround you and just totally screw you over. Uh, but if you have a shotgun, it's a lot easier to, instead of having to run around them, uh, which is something that you'll need to get good at as well, but you can just blast right through them, which is really nice to have. In this gameplay, I actually have a sniper rifle, which kind of does the same thing. It's obviously not as good because it's a sniper rifle instead of a shotgun, um, but just any weapon that really does it for you, even if you want to use a submachine gun, uh, but generally a shotgun is actually the best weapon to go with. So it's up to you, but that's just kind of a helpful tip that I figured I would mention. Alright, so I actually slowed down parts of this clip. Uh, as you can see right here, I'm just shooting these few zombies out of my way so that I can actually clear a path um, and run through the train a little bit better. And then you see I just run past the zombies pretty easily. And then I notice that there's just one zombie right here, uh, which will allow me to actually turn around and look at the situation I choose to run past. And then this little area right here is just these two zombies had just enough space for me to get through so I could actually break through. Um, and keep them behind me, which is the ultimate goal. Um, it's kind of hard to dodge and weave through there, but that's honestly the general gist of it, and that was more of a dramatic example. A lot of the times it's actually not that hard. Um, it can be pretty easy, just gotta keep them behind you, and other than that, guys, all I can tell you is just practice. I've been playing zombies for four or five years, so... I don't know, whenever World of War came out, so uh, it's pretty much second nature, but as long as you keep practicing, you'll definitely get better at it. Alright, so that's going to wrap up this video. If you have any questions whatsoever about what I just went over, feel free to leave a comment. Also, if you have any suggestions for another video, leave a comment of that as well. I'm just here to help you guys out. And other than that, thank you so much for watching, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Bye-bye!